What's up everyone, Willy Apple here, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can get watchOS 10 public beta for yourself. And it's really easy to do, let's get started. First things first, I'm going to tell you some prerequisites. So for supported watches, the Series 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8, along with the Ultra, SE1, and SE2, are all supported with watchOS 10. And another prerequisite is that you're gonna need the iOS 17 public beta in order to download the public beta. So don't need to do anything once you have the public beta installed on your phone. You don't need to go to Safari or anything. It's just a lot easier. All you gotta do is you wanna open up Watch and you wanna go to General and then you wanna press Software Update. You're gonna see a new section up here that says Beta Updates. So basically all you wanna do from here is tap on Beta Updates and then you're gonna see an option for the watchOS 10 Public Beta. You just wanna tap watchOS 10 Public Beta and then you're gonna to wanna to check for updates and you're gonna see the watchOS 10 update all right here. All you wanna do is tap Download and Install Now. But wait, hold on. Unlike iOS, macOS, and iPadOS, you're actually not able to downgrade your Apple Watch back to Watch OS 9. It's impossible. So if you have a ton of issues, you won't be able to downgrade at all. So when you have a bug, you're just gonna need to hold on and wait until the next beta, when Apple can probably fix the bugs. However, for me, the experience with WatchOS 10 is actually pretty good, especially on beta 3, there aren't major issues anymore. And it's basically just battery life that has taken a huge hit. So if you're worried about the battery life, I would hold off until updating until the public release or until later into the beta cycle. And if you'd like to know when betas are out and my experience with them, just be subscribed and hit that notification down below because the day after the beta releases, which should be the day of the public beta, I'll have your experience ready. And now real fast, I want to show you how you can report bugs if you have one. A brand new app will install onto your phone called Feedback Assistant. It will be installed right when you install your iOS 17 on your iPhone. And when you have issues, all you gotta do is tap this button right here, select Watch OS, and follow all the on-screen instructions. Provide a descriptive title, where you're seeing the issues, what type of issue you're reporting. And depending on the issue, you may be asked to add additional information in right above the description. And then in description, you just want a clearer description of the issue, a step-by-step -step process, results you expected, and results that you saw. Really easy to do. And in the next beta, Apple should hopefully fix it for you. Now that is all I want to say about the WatchOS 10 beta. If you, again, would like to see all the features and changes and all of the watchOS betas, just please be sure to like and subscribe and tap that notification bell and comment down below what you think about the watchOS 10 public beta. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.